talked about this. It is so good. Tom Hanks slipped out. Did we talk about yeah. talk about this? Mm. Tom, you know, remember, I, I, if you guys know my comedy, if you listen, you probably do. I did that bit about douchebag credits and voice in my head. Mm. Um, Alec, uh, Tom Hanks has the most douchebag credits. Let yeah. me explain what I mean. Uh, basically, if you're a super, you start, you build up goodwill in the public, and then you blow it like Adam Baldwin. Uh, Alec Baldwin has a lot of douchebag credits, but every couple of years, he fucking spends half of them. Yeah. He just becomes a douchebag, he blows a bunch of credits, you know, but he never goes to the end. Charlie Sheen burned his out. Charlie Sheen has no more douchebag credits. I think anybody, any normal person, that would react that way. Right. But when you see Tom Hanks do it, it feels like he flipped out. That's yeah, a, I, that is it a normal reaction. It made me love reaction. him even more. I would more. react that oh, way I, completely. What happened Didn't you to, like him yeah. more, though? Did yeah, you think he, like, fuck yeah, dude. It was, yeah. It's because his wife, Rita Wilson, gets bumped. They're being hounded by paparazzi. Somebody They're pushes cool. her so He's, hard, she goes, oh. Drops her phone. And then Tom Hanks uncorks, and I was like, wow, he had it in him. Who knew? She said, just stop. And, and I heard the tone in her voice. Like, if you, when you have that tone, I turn like, who yeah. do I have to kill? Yeah, yeah. you, and that would have been bad. Hanks turns up and just goes, hey, back the fuck off. And I was like. <laughs> Oh, he that was awesome. alpha male card yeah, right there. Yeah. And he did. He dropped it. Everyone just backed the fuck. And you see, here's my, here's my douchebag credits. I don't think he. I think he got extra douchebag credits because it was exactly yes. the right time and the right thing. Yes. And you hear all the guys go, "Oh, sorry, Tom. We're yeah. sorry, Tom." No one gets. No one. No one goes. Fuck you, Tom. Really <laughs> apologize, Tom. Yeah, but, but yeah. Because yeah. like, you know, people went. You made Tom Hanks say, "Fuck, dude." Yeah. Speaking of douchebag credits, Sean Penn is on the hill today, sitting with. Um, Harry Styles. No. Harry. The Hitler. guy. <laughs> Harry's razors. Harry. Uh, Harry the Capitol Harry police Hamlin. officer. The Capitol police officer. <laughs> Harry Hamlin. I love that. I love that. Just a random Harry. <laughs> Harry and I'm Sean. <laughs> and I'm here with Harry Hamlin. Uh, well, hey, we were just having lunch. I don't know. Capitol Where Police Officer. Oh, Harry. Oh, yeah. Uh, Harry Dunn. Holy crap. Yep. Uh, he's. It was just kind of mentioned. And Sean Penn is sitting next to the Capitol Police Officers. Sean Penn has the this most douchebag credits. He has to support the Capitol Police but Officers. Different kind of douchebag credits. Because you remember Tom Hanks? Tom Hanks took the COVID thing down a little bit because he got it first and he lived. We were like, all right, Tom yeah, Hanks like, lives. Oh, we're, we're gonna, we were like, we'll all right, okay. okay. Yeah, yeah. As long as we do the right rules. Yeah, 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 yeah. but he got Australia COVID. It's very different. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> he got it from a sheep. Yeah. I think um, you I got um, Hobart, Indiana. COVID, I got Hobart, Indiana. Which is way <laughs> different, way different. Um, so Sean Penn was ta- Sean Penn went to see Zelensky. Uh, it's so funny. He, because- yes, he left Ukraine to come be with the Capitol Police officers oh, yeah. today. Yeah, yeah. yeah, Sean Penn is. Uh, Sean and he Penn. left Haiti to go to Ukraine to help. Like, <laughs> yes. like, dude, bring it down. He is like United yeah. Nations level <laughs> douchebag credits. Yes, yes. With a white helmet. Yes. And, and yet he's so edgy that people are like, we can't make him a diplomat. No. <laughs> They're like, yeah, yeah. no, 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 no. Don't give him a government job. Like, nah, just, we, just, we never know what's going to yeah, happen. Yeah, exactly. Because <laughs> he was kind of a bad boy back in the day, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah he was. Madonna and stuff, yeah. He, he, he married to Madonna for a little while and then he, he did a movie. He did, actually did a movie called Bad Boys with uh, uh, S.A. Morales that was pretty rough and he was, and he was in Fast Times Ridge Mahai. Because the problem with Tom, oh, he was. The problem so with you just Tom said that all in one word. He was in Fast Times at Ridge Fast Times at Ridge Mahi. Fast Times at Ridge Mahi. It, it's, funny thing is, you put Sean Penn in politics, they always have that clip. Ah, oh, some yeah. tasty ways. Uh, yeah, yeah. You got that. Yeah. Need, like, and a cool, oh, bu- a cool buzz and cool, some tasty ways. Yeah, some cool bud and some tasty ways. Oh, is that what he's saying? Like cool so. bud? I thought he said all I need is a cool buzz and some tasty Maybe ways, and I'll uh, be fine. I don't know. We have to bring it up. Wait, he's I haven't seen the movie. I just know that clip. How have you not seen Fast Times at Ridge Mahi? It's a class. How dare you? Um, I know, right? It's not really, it's not really my style. Oh, what was your coming of age movie then? Uh, uh, Super bad. Uh, Pulp Fiction. Oh. You can't tell me when human life begins, though, can you? Can you? Yes. Conception. So you're telling me. Wait, wait, we don't know what human.
coming of age story? No, that, that, <laughs> that's that, 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 not really. He yeah. did a lot of stabs to the My heart. My first like major movies I remember that had an impact on me when I was a teenager, where I was like, whoa, was Friday and right. Pulp Fiction. So Friday would be your Friday would be your that would be your, like a stupid. You mean like a teen silly? Movie. Yeah, like a, yeah, okay, like, Friday. Yeah, yeah. I watched that over and over and over. Which movie hurt you though? Which there was a movie that hurt you. There's a movie that that really cause damage because I've never heard anyone ever say I hate movies um hatefully <laughs> no you hated movies way before no, that no I think yes. that you said that really sealed the deal that movie was like I, I'm pretty sure you said that long before hatefully came out but I didn't know you before hatefully it, it came out of, when did it come out no she said that way before she just she hateful eight i think that's Ryan what i feel like was here yeah Let's but I, see. I think what you said hateful eight was 2015 i didn't know you yet but you hated movies way back then because you said it way before that That was seven podcast. years ago it ruined it ruined my life so no it did not you hated movies i like, also did Antonio. not like what Titanic. was that one oh the, what was that one um with the uh, all that Close noise in it <laughs> with the train <laughs> Uh, with that Polar loud Express. music wah, and the guy that method acts Daniel Day Lewis who becomes a cobbler wow. to be cut to play a shoe guy and you've mixed enough there, there will be the guy, source code with no Jake, Daniel Day Jake Lewis Jonah. and the train and it's like an old western the last movie 310, 310 to no. Yuma 310 to Yuma come on you Toy guys story. like movies 310 Toy to Yuma story. Toy Story yeah. I'm guessing. Daniel Day Lewis Woody right Oh my god. <laughs> that that would have been, been a lot different. Daniel, actually, Day Lewis. Up, uh, Daniel Day Lewis learned how to be a puppet. He's a fucking puppet. Uh, <laughs> he got so rough. There will be blood. That like movie that. too. That's oh, I didn't I heard Toy Story. Is that the one that ruined you? That one and then remember, so in the middle of that horrendous God, movie, I love that I movie. Love that movie. <laughs> That's a great what is movie. Like then what the, a great character. I love that movie. the fire alarm went off, which became a mandatory intermission against my will so we had to leave go outside wait in the parking lot for the shittiest intermission ever and then go back inside and watch the rest of it that movie, you know, that movie was a weird dark version of citizen that movie King, was really. the toledo ohio of movies <laughs> <laughs> no, it was. Yes, it was. there would be blood it was awesome because remember toledo ohio i uh, was so done that it was, was years ago i'm sure before current ownership and I was on stage and it was like show number four and we were both like mm -hmm. and oh, during yeah, my set the fire alarm went off yeah. and oh. rather than postpone the agony I yelled punchlines in between <laughs> the... it, was going, it would go like this go stay <laughs> here everyone <laughs> And then there'd be like a 30 second pause. My dad was a Marine officer, my mom was a hippie. I was raised by Rainbow and Rambo. <laughs> my mom was a Southern hippie. She wanted peace, even if she had to shoot people to get it. <laughs> That's the show. I'm in the back going, and I'm losing and my shit. And people are walking out. You're like, oh, no, they're going to get the It was so weird. They didn't know what to do because I kept because going. Because she kept going and was running the room, and I was like, and no. I'm running in the back like, Take what the that fuck shit. is going on? Just they were me. laughing, though. I kept hearing you laugh. I was like, I'm getting through this material and going the, home. The current race. Rachel Bradley would not have, uh, would have not, she went, when you okay. guys fix this shit, I'll be back. Guys, chill out, and you'd have walked off stage. And the result's you know, the what same, what the fuck's the difference? <laughs> a fire I'm could not have been Take it now, <laughs> fucking save a move, bro. <laughs> so uh, come on, you're fighting for one minute. Her. She's like, I guess I Bullshit. Right. Joke. We, this right here? We, yeah. Waste of a fucking move. We hated that. What's nice. the point? <laughs> that was that's amazing. <laughs> What's the uh, point? This episode brought to you by an awesome product. Athletic Unless you're dreams, just trying to waste time, there's no purpose to do in doing Toledo, that. Ohio. Fucking, the results the same. Greens, the healthy and the green. Oh, now you say it's okay. <laughs> da -da -da. Well, I don't, you know we should oh. charge extra for jingles, damn it. <laughs> Whatever. Uh, had it yesterday. Uh, you handed me, so I'm sitting there, I'm in the kitchen mm -hmm. doing stuff, getting ready to come out uh, to do some stuff, and uh, she shakes it up, hands it to me, boom. Then like ah, 30 minutes, I was like, oh, I just, this, I, I have to be honest, a sense of ease. It's odd how you actually yes. do feel different. Yes. I find it very odd when products actually do same what they say they're so going to do. 75 high quality vitamins, minerals, whole foods, source superfoods, probiotics and adaptogens that you're absorbing when you drink this. I barely, I put a, this much water in the shaker and then a scoop of that, shake it up with the D3 and it's just like, it's a shot. And then I go my day. But it also doesn't, I mean, the one thing I like about it is it doesn't, I don't, I, I don't, I can't, we've talked about this, to taste. Look, I'll look, I'll take 
anything to help my health as long as you make it not a chore. Yeah, so, where sometimes, you did it. Sometimes you're like, like I've been in the past, I've gotten something, I'm like, oh, this is, uh, I don't want to take it. But you know, you start to feel a little nauseous. Yes. But uh, that, it's so good. It tastes good. It's got a little bit of, a little bit of lemony flavor mm -hmm. to it. It's like good. A tropical kind yeah, of taste. Yeah. Helps when I'm on the road. Um, helps with digestion. Packets, helps with energy. People. Oh yeah, they have travel packets, um, which you can just tear one open, pour yep. it in, and it's a lot easier than taking the whole thing. You can also pour into a bottle of water, shake a bottle, and done. Mm -hmm. Drinking warm water before bed fixes even gum problems overnight. Oh, People are up. healing decay and repairing damaged gums every night as they sleep by uh -huh. adding one unusual ingredient to a glass of warm water. Mm -hmm. um, also, the vitamin D is awesome. Uh, they have a deal right now um, that they're going to give you a free one year supply of that immune supporting vitamin D on, that dude. I talked about that's in the dropper and five of those free travel packs that you just mentioned with your first purchase. All you have to do is visit athleticgreens.com slash Titus. Again, that's athleticgreens.com slash Titus to take ownership over your health and pick up the ultimate daily nutritional insurance. Good stuff, guys. No BS. We, we, we use it. It's also... Our, our advertisers, get, our, our, the people that run our advertising the agency are getting frustrated with me because like, we keep getting stuff like, oh, no, no. If it, if it works and we use it, We'll, well, the thing about Athletic Greens was before they would advertise with us, they said we had to use yep. it for 30 days. Yep. And I was like, oh, really? Like, it's like a little bit of a challenge. Okay, well, we'll see if I feel any different after 30 days. And then after 30 days, we were like, oh, we got to take this product because this I like is excellent. Company, well, that's how I'm about my comedy. You can say, you can call me an asshole. You can say I'm intent. You can say I'm a dipshit. You can, what are you saying? I'm stupid. You say I'm not funny. I'm like, just looking at well, yeah. oh, Okay. I give it 30 days. Yeah. yeah. You gotta, <laughs> come to 30 show. You're <laughs> getting uh, better sleep quality and recovery, supports mental <laughs> clarity and alertness, um, non GMO, all of those things, um, paleo, vegan, dairy free gluten-free I think it's alertness in this when you go out and have any drinks the next thing I highly suggest a scoop of this right. so treats the part of your soul <laughs> that you lost <laughs> the night before I did that last week and had a scoop of this and then after I was like no shit like it actually works, works. your body is gets depleted of all this stuff and this just puts it back so athleticgreens.com slash Titus so can I get back to I want to get back to my point I was gonna make I agree with you that there is a point when, when whoever's running the country, whatever politician, Democrat or Republican, whoever in charge, they need to be, they need to have focus on them. Do your job. You, I think we've forgotten over the years. They've forgotten too. These, you guys, they fucking work for us. You, our tax money, I mean, it's, it's trillions of dollars every year in tax money, and they get paid. You work, you're our employees, and yet they treat us. Like we're their employees. And that it was interesting what Adam Kinzinger snapped back to Richard Marks about, I don't work for you unless you live. Because Richard Marks said, don't district. forget you work for me and don't ever forget it. Adam Kinzinger, I don't work for you unless you live in my district. Don't you forget that. And right. Richard Marks says, for you to pretend that the votes and decisions that you make don't affect all of us right. is ridiculous. And it is. It's very true. I gotta tell you, uh, shout out to Richard Marks because that dude, man, it's like he started getting on Twitter. We were start, we we started. He started following me, and, and then and then we had him on the show. And he's he c continues to stand up for, uh, like right. There's guys that like you just you just go. That's the right fucking thing. Yes. The way that it all went down was no. I saw a tweet that Richard Marks right. did, who I hadn't you know thought about that said I love going to the dentist so I can hear my music. And yeah. I was like, oh, Richard yeah. Marks is funny. I started right. following him, and then I realized I'm married to him.